Welcome to a quest for metal. Today is a special day. Nightwish has just released the latest album, Human Nature. Um, there's like a little slash in between. I don't know if it's human slash slash nature or just human nature. Whatever it is, it's fucking good. Yeah? The album is fantastic. I'm happy to tell you guys. It's a great fucking album. I'm going to go track through track, tell you what I thought of each song on the album, what my favourite song was, what the weakest song was, and my overall thoughts and score at the very end. So hopefully you guys are excited as I am to delve deep into this new Nightwish journey. So right off the gate, we start with music, which is like a seven minute long epic track. One of my favorites on the fucking album straight away. They're coming off really fucking strong here. It has like a three minute kind of building the tension into Ludi kind of atmospheric -y intro with some kind of tribal-esque sounds in which really sets the mood and it kind of builds up a slow build i love a slow build in songs and this does that and then it kicks in with her beautiful vocals and that melody and that fucking chorus the chorus is catchy as hell i adore it when she sings i'm not gonna butcher it i'm not gonna try and sing her but she sings music fanning the flames of mystery and she does it like really kind of fast after she says music and i love it I love that vocal part. It's, this is like a fantastic song. I adore this song. I've played it over and over again. It is just one of my favorite songs from it. Music, it has the length, it has the girth, it has the melodies, it has the singing, the beautiful singing from Floor, the melodies are there. This is already a great start to the album. Next up, Noise. You've all heard Noise probably about 100 times by now. It's a great fucking song. It's catchy, just like music. It's not as long. It's not as proggy. It doesn't have the build-up, but it has the punchy, punchiness, basically. It has the edgy, punchy factor of, like, a single, like, Nemo or any of those kind of, like, Elan, stuff like that. It's, it's a cool single. It also has that kind of Game of Thronesy melody to it, where it's like, dun 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 Kind of sounds similar, but I don't care. I think it sounds good. I think the melody is good. The singing is great, and the music video? Come on. It's one of the best music videos of the year. I adore it, and not just because there's fucking women in <laughs> Not just because there's models in barely any clothes. It is actually a genuinely good video, and it has a nice message. So, no problems here. First two songs, off to an amazing start. Next up, we have my actual favourite song on the album. Shoemaker. This is perfection. This is perfection. This has that slow kind of build up. It has amazing instrumentals throughout. The vocals throughout, perfect as well. There's drum, the drumming, can we talk about the drumming in this song? It feels kind of like it'd be right at home on an Opeth album. I'm not joking, like the drums on this are intense as anything. Singing is beautiful, but that last section of the song, ooh, boy that last section of the song is just it's the it's it's perfect it's amazing it's 10 out of 10 it's like an operatic kind of section and those oh, yeah that singing is beautiful it's beautiful it's my favorite favorite song favorite song because that outro that outro is blows my mind my eyes start to melt the ark of the covenants open like someone's heads explode mine's melted <laughs> it's that indiana jones moment but I'm gonna stop gushing about the Shoemaker. Just listen to it. Great fucking song. Next up, Harvest, the second single. Harvest, the second single that came out. I didn't like this at first because it's so different. It's not the usual, it's not Marco, it's not Floor, it's none of the usual singers. I was kind of put off. But on re listening and re listening, I don't know why, because the song is catchy, the rhythm is just fun. And the singing is actually good. Once you get your head around it's not Marco, it's not Floor, it's not what you're used to. Once you get your head around that, it's a really fun song and you'll you'll enjoy it. Troy is the main vocalist here, which I just love the fact that they're doing something new. And it's kind of folky. It has that folky kind of fun feeling to it. And it's just a fun song, fun fong. It's a fun fong overall. Next up, Pan, which could feel like it's from Peter Pan's world. It feels like it's a song from Neverland. It's probably the most Nightwishy song on the album, which is not a bad thing. 
Nightwish is great. This is a standard Nightwish song, and it's fun. And there's not much else to it. It, it is just a great Nightwish song. Although i got to talk about the piano melodies in it. Hypnotising as hell. The piano melodies in this are just beautiful. Another fantastic song of the album. So the album is just going full speed ahead. The album is beautiful. The album is beautiful so far. Next up, How's the Heart, which is probably my second favourite song on the album. It is kind of typical, again, like Pan, it's a more typical, catchy, mainstreamy Nightwish song. Not as experimental as like something like Tribal, or Noise, or Harvest, but it knows what it is, and it does it well. The chorus is the catchiest one on the entire album, for me. Some people may say it's a bit too generic, but fuck them. It's a great song. Love that chorus. It's gonna be stuck in my head. It's gonna be stuck in my head for days. It's kind of got that weird melody, kind of like I Want My Tears Back. Kind of seems like a song like that, which again, people kind of overlook, but that's a great song as well. Yeah, this song, awesome. One of my favorites. Next up, Procession. The weakest one on disc one. It is the weakest one on disc one. It's very slow burning, very ethereal, very... I don't want to say boring, but it, it it's a standard-esque ballad by Nightwish. Um, not too much to say about it other than it didn't really grab my attention. If I was going to take one song off the disc one, it would be this. All the others have something cool, something unique, something catchy. This one hasn't really caught my attention. It's a good song, it's well made. Singing's great, but I'm not a ballad guy. <laughs> I, I like I like proggy songs, I like catchy songs. I, this is just kind of just, it's okay. It's, it's a good song throughout, but nothing stands out. And that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna bash it too much, because it's not a bad song, it's just not for me. And that's all I'm gonna say about that one. This is more like it, Tribal. And the song feels fucking tribal when you're listening to it. You got those kind of bop, 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 those weird bomb <laughs> bongo drums, and it, those tri that tribal singing and the screaming throughout. Intense. This is the most heavy song of the album. It's the most intense song of the album. It gets your blood pumping. It's really fucking unique for what they've done. They've never had a song like this. Never had a song like this. It's perfection. Beautiful song on the album. Keeps things fresh. This is what I like to see. Finally, Endlessness. Amazing close, amazing closer to disc one. It is kind of a proggy song in nature. Uh, again, it has the amazing singing. It has the, a nice kind of balance between Floor and Marco on this song as well. The dynamic between the two vocalists is just, it works so well on this song. It's a long one. Again, it's proggy, it's interesting. It keeps the album fresh and uplifting. Yeah, this disc one is, this disc one's like a 9 out of 10. This disc one is a 9 out of fucking 10. And it's 50 minutes long, so there's your album. Oh wait, there's a 30 minute song left. This should have been like the most epic Nightwish song. It, but it kind of falls flat for me. It kind of falls flat. I get what they're going for. 30 minutes of instrumental. It, it sounds cool. But in reality, I was kind of bored halfway through. It's not interesting enough. It's not Change of Seasons or Octavarium. It doesn't have cool guitar solos. It doesn't have amazing drumming or, you know, any singing in. There's no singing in this 30 minutes. And I listened to Nightwish to hear singing. If I wanted to listen to technical fucking wankery, I'd listen to Dream Theater and Symphony X and stuff. Liquid Tension Experiment. I don't think they should be doing this. <laughs> I get it, but it, it just doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me. It sounds like a movie soundtrack. It's a nice sounding song. 30 minutes of nice sounding songs in each section of the song. It fits well. You know, the uh, the Moors song, part well, Moors section of the 30 minute song sounds like you're in the Moors. And the same with the blue section. It's kind of, sounds peaceful, relaxing, but... I don't really want to listen to it. You've already got a good Nightwish album on the first disc, yeah? You got 50 minutes of amazing songs, 9 out of 10. Amazing. And then this is just kind of there, and this side is like a 5 out of 10, because it's good, but it's not 
anything special. It's just a, it's a 30 minute instrumental. It's a 30 minute instrumental. I don't get excited over instrumentals, to be honest. They're just kind of there. So, to, not to bring a downer to the review, but if we're going to judge it on the first disc, 9 out of 10 pro are way better than Endless Forms. Way, one of the better Nightwish albums. In my opinion, one of the fucking better Nightwish albums. I'm going to judge it on this too. One of the worst. But, put them together. I don't know. The score is going to be hard because I really love the disc one. I really love this one and disc two just it doesn't do anything for me. So, I can't give it a nine. I'd have to give it an eight. But, just know... That first 50 minutes, and that's a long time, is perfection. So those are my thoughts on the latest Nightwish album. I know I kind of left it on a sour note, but everything else is perfect. Everything else is amazing, so definitely do your part and check out this album. It is one of the better ones of April. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my review. Let me know in your comments below your favourite song from the album. What did you think of the album as a whole? Do you share my opinion with the last song? If you don't, cool, there's more music for you. You get a 30 minute song to enjoy. I have a 50 minute album, which is still amazing. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have restless sleeps. So I'm not gonna have sleepless nights over that song. I'm just gonna ignore it and listen to the first disc because that's the disc that I like. So yeah, let me know in the comments below and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.